Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome back to Crash Landing with Light. As you can see, I have opened this space up a bit off camera. I've also done a bit of chopping and sifting, such that you don't have to watch that. My water is not quite full. Let's grab one more of those bottles and put that in so we don't need to worry about that either. Uh, our primary goals for today are to uh, spider-proof our tree area and to uh, create a aquabot such that we've got something that'll just generate bottleable water for us and we can go about our lives without being terrified of whatever it is that's out here at night. Now the first step is going to be to push this wall back by just a little bit. Uh, because as it is, if we try to put stairs on the outside of this, we'll uh, interfere with the growth of the trees. And dust isn't necessarily the best wall to begin with, so let's upgrade it. Okay, so we'll need one higher here. Now we've got cobblestone for days now, so we don't need to worry about wasting it. Okay, now things still might be able to spawn on this stuff, so what we're going to do is make ourselves some slabs. Torches are still a little bit scarce, but slabs do a really good job. Let's just make tons of them. Grab ourselves some more cobble, because if we ever turn our cobble generator back on, we'll get stacks and stacks of the stuff. Okay, so now we can come up here. Oops. Put our regular cobble on the bar, too. Okay, now we want to half slab these such that nothing can spawn without our permission. We might revise some of this wall during the spider proofing, but for the initial process, this should be good. Uh, we've got 30 more steps. Let's see how high we are. How high are we? So the tree will be able to grow uh, probably to the top of that wall. Maybe one higher. So if we go a pow and pow and pow. Okay, now we're going to make ourselves a half slab roof that nothing can spawn on. It doesn't need to be solid. It just needs uh, to be able to keep spiders out. So really, it only needs to be lattice work with no two wide gaps. All right, that is a slab. Let's get rid of this slab and this slab because they're going to be replaced with cobble now we're leaving it open both to save materials and such that uh, Skeletons will be able to see us, because if they can see us, they'll come towards us and try to kill us. Which, oddly, is actually what we want. Oh, one, two, three, and slab. This might be overkill on the height, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Okay, so we've got this. And then we're going to come over two more. Break 
this one, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a slab. Slab our way across. Now, unfortunately, I would have wanted this over here. But this will have to do. To get down, we just hop down here. Do one wide and cobble pillar. And slab on top. Okay, skip, pillar, skip, pillar. Oh, into the pit I go. Always with the falling in. Um, yeah, I'll just skip my way along. Because it's just about noon. Got a little bit of time. Hop. And hop. Yeah, let's build something in this corner. So that's one, skip, one, skip, one, skip, one. Yeah, maybe we should build these multiples at a time. Efficiency. Ooh, we are getting a bit hungry. Let's chow down. It is a bit warm out here, doing a lot of jumping. And is this down to zero already? Oh. Food situation is not good. Okay, so if that is down to zero, we need to go back inside and find ourselves something else to eat. How are we doing with the fruit salad? Back up to 60%. It's not great. Oops. Not great is better than dead. Let's see, so tomato soup is right out. What we need, unfortunately, is some more spider eye soup. Where are my bones? And spider eyes. Okay, so we take our pot and our mixing bowl and our bones, one, two, three, and that will make us nine spider eye soups. Just toss that on the ground. <laughs> okay, so it's still at 100. Okay, um, that makes me think the sun is about to go down. It is. So all we have to do let it get to the horizon, sleep in the bed, we're good to go. Let's see, can we get up here from there? Oh yeah, we'll be able to make that jump. I made myself a clock, golden redstone. It really helps to know while you're down here without having to go, what time is it? Yeah, you just look at the clock, you're on your way. Come on, be nighttime. I suppose I should wait for that to get to 90 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's see how these are doing. Mature and mature. Always have to remember to harvest these things. So easy to forget. 
Uh, I made a little bit of flour, uh, but until we're overflowing with water, it's not really uh, a good idea to make the dough out of it to make the bread. Uh, one and two. And we're sleeping. Really No monsters for us. Come up armed just in case. Uh, there's a handful out, but they're burning up. Let's just give them a second. Ooh. He was not pleased by the daylight. Okay, so apparently... I built this wrong over here, but we can fix it without too much difficulty if I can manage to walk up a flight of stairs. Well, fine. I'll do it some other way. Come up here. Oh, that's a slab. Ah, eh, that's good enough. This is just a temporary solution anyway. Does not need to be perfect. Never meant to be permanent. Oh, yeah, we've still got plenty. Do, do, do. Do, do. Oh, can't jump anymore. Goodbye, slab. Okay, we now have a primarily spider-proof cage. The small ones can still get through. Oh, it's a nice view of our cobble generator over there. Uh, yeah, so the small spiders can still get through. No zombies, no skeletons. They can still shoot through, but that's good. They'll see us, they'll get annoyed and try to come kill us. <coughs> Excuse me again. They will try to kill us and they'll fall in the pit. And there we are. Now this will be good. A nice safe place to grow some trees. Uh, I apparently put all my saplings away. Where would I have put them? In here? There they are. And let's grab some bone meal and make sure it works. I'm not going to chop it down. You don't need to see me chop down another tree. Pop. There we are. Perfectly safe tree. Good stuff. Next up, we want to make our aquabot. Aquabot, aquabot. Does whatever an aquabot does. Uh, okay, so for aquabot, we need a couple of things. We've got a lot of what we need here. Um, let's see. But I got myself some sand. Apparently, I did not. Because we're going to need a bit of glass. So one, two, three, four. Hammer time. <clears throat> Suppose I could have just grabbed some gravel out of the generator, but nah, this is just as good. Ba -ba 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 and sand. Uh, I did a bit of sifting, so I've got a lot in the way of resources. Well. Not a lot, but compared to what we've had, a lot. We're going to need some glass. <clears throat> now, what this aquabot is going to do, it'll have a chest where you can put some leaves. <coughs> it'll have a hopper underneath, which will funnel it into 
the mechanism for doing things with it. So uh, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna need two chests. One of which hopperified. The other one normal. We have way too much stuff. Go away. Okay, so we've got our glass. What did we need that glass for? We need it for a tank, such that we've got a nice visible tank that shows us how much water we've got. Next up, we need a survivalist generator to produce power. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want three. One, two, three. Uh, let's see, it's gonna need cobblestone hat. It's gonna need iron in the middle, redstone on the sides. Come on, yeah, survivalist generator, one, two, three. Puts us down to one iron ingot, but that's okay. We need our fluid transposer. Uh, let's put those away. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, fluid transposer, hopper, chest. We might be good to go. Okay, where would be a good place for Aquabot? I'm thinking right here. So we need those, and this, and that, and this. So, let's see. Step them out by one. Fluid transposer, another generator, and another generator. We put the hopper into his side. No, that's not where I wanted you. Not where I wanted you at all. Hopper in the side, chest on top of the hopper, and then to finish him off, we put the portable tank on top. And now, he looks like a snooty French waiter. Uh, we configure him such that he accepts uh, the leaves from the left and ejects the water out the top. Let's grab ourselves some leaves and some coal. Oh, one, two, three. We put one coal in each generator. They produce five redstone flux per tick. So 15 should be enough to keep this guy running. Fills that up. Then we just chuck our leaves in there. Let's grab some more. We don't want to put them all in there because we are going to want a dirt system eventually. But as this goes, this fills up, it's exporting the water, and you look over here, this is still charging. Don't want to run in any sort of deficit. So as goes, it fills stuff up and throws it up here. We've got 300 millibuckets already. So much faster than this crucible over here. <clears throat> we can just let Aquabot sit here for a bit, and once he's ready, we can take our glass bottle walk up to him, and then we right click on his head here. Eventually I'll probably add a couple of more uh, portable tanks on the top so we can have a larger uh, reserve of water. Um, ooh, I am starting to run a little low. Come on, Aquabot. And this will also generate saplings for us. Not a whole lot. It's 5%, so every 20 of these we do, so every two buckets we'll get a sapling. Not a huge deal. Um, for that reason, I might want to prefer to use oak leaves in here because the oak saplings we can pair with various types of fruit, for example, apples, to make ourselves a sapling of that sort of fruit. But where are you going to plant it, you ask? Well, my next goal, which I'm going to do off camera, because this is going to be the last do everything on camera episode. What I'm gonna do is set up a uh, dirt generator so I can shear tons of leaves, uh, turn it all into dirt, 
I'm going to start reclaiming the land out there. I'm going to make it all dirt. I'm going to sift some dirt to get some grass seeds to make it all grass. And I'm going to push this mob trap out into a nice huge moat. It's still going to be a mob trap, still want all the bone meal, but it's going to be out there. Such that I can be working in here, they'll see me and run into it, and then swim their way to their doom. What sort of doom, you ask? Spiky doom. Spike, spike, spike. Oh. Spike. Spike. Good old iron spike. Uh, not 100% sure that I can actually make these, but it says I can, so I will. Some iron swords, some more iron. Um, so that'll take some iron. Uh, ooh, the sun is going down again. Well, that means it's probably nearing the end of the episode, but that's okay. Aquabot is done. Uh, if we come in here, you can see just from the time we've been recording, we've got ourselves stacks and stacks of gravel. I can go through and sift all of that, get the various metallic resources, it should be enough iron to make those iron spikes, and then we can have a trap that leads them to their spiky doom. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a nice drink of water, grab another one, and put it in our pack. This is downright luxurious. And we still got plenty of oak leaves in there, plenty of birch leaves in here for tons more water, and it'll just sit there and do it. These coal will last for another 20 minutes. They produce, I believe, 1.6 million RF. That's a lot. That's, you know, you divide that by the 1600 that it takes to generate this bit of water. 100 of those means 10 buckets. 10 buckets of water from one coal. And we've got quite a bit of coal. All we have to do is make sure we've got shears, we've got trees, and everything will be good. I missed the window to sleep, but eh, the episode's over. You don't need to see me huddled down in this bunker. Just enjoy our good Frenchy waiter, Aquabot. And I'll see you next time in Crash Landing with Light.